welcome to Vickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about the unlikelies, which I can't spell unlikely just by the by. No, I can't either, <laughs> which was kind of disappointing. I'm a terrible speller at unlikelies. Anyway. I think I'm proof that you don't need to spell to be a success in life. There's I's and E's in places I, I don't know. But anyway, so we're talking about unlikelies um, by Carrie Firestone. We got, this is an ER through NetGalley. I like to say that because I'll forget. Mm-hmm. Um, it's basically about five teens who are brought together because they are do-gooders and they kind of want to keep their do-goodingness rolling. Basically. So, and kind of what ends up kind of furthering it is they come into some money and so they use the money to kind of even further their kind of viral random act of kindness because what they try to do is take on the internet world and spread love instead of bullying and hate. Um, and they kind of like change negative negativity into positivity and this money helps them do that quicker and better um and really what kicks this off is <clears throat> sadie helps this baby who's like locked in a really hot car with a drunk father and um she saves the baby and then that kind of gets her into this do-gooder society with this group place. of friends yeah. and um because she was kind of really sad that all her friends graduated this year and you know, her senior year is going to stink because she's got nobody left, but whoa, now she does. And there's a love interest in this new group of friends, obviously. So, and I like to be love interest. I thought the love interest was super cute. Oh, I, I want, I like, okay, so I go back and forth on this. Like, I really kind of want to hang out with these people. They seem like so, super cool, like awesome, totally chill. Like, it's really kind of cool, like how they rewrite the kindness and the things that they do. But then... They, like, don't want to share their kind. Like, they don't want to share their movement, which I think is weird. Well, and, like, see, I had some problems with this. I liked the idea of rewriting the kind, like, like one of the things that they do is where there are negative comments, they try to post positive comments. And I think that's wonderful. I thought that was great. But there was just something about it that didn't work for me. And I feel like if you look at the book cover and you look at, like, the actual, like, what they're trying to say – versus what's in there like the tones don't match like it just felt very disjointed to me no and I, I agree with that because she really kind of does try to take on I mean she takes on issues with diversity she takes on issues with drug like drug addicts there's serious and, heroin in this book yeah there's I mean there's serious drug abuse in this book not by any of the characters but kind of by saving but it's on the with it's it. on the, the outskirts and then you've got this like pretty blue mm-hmm. cover with Ice cream cones, and like I think the description kind of tries to sell it as like new friends, love interest, and then you're reading it and you're like, this is dark. It's not light and fluffy. I mean, but I think it's more in the vein of like a Sarah Dessen novel. But I feel like half of it was light and fluffy, and half of it like it just didn't. It felt almost like two books mushed together for me. But Sarah Dessen does that. See, and I'm currently listening to the new Sarah Dessen book, and it just works better when she does it. I, I mean, but is this her first book or not? It maybe might be she's her just first not, book. I don't know. Maybe she just needs to grow a little. Like, maybe she's just kind of working it through. And like I said, I thought it was I thought it was a good story, and I thought teens would like it, and I thought it was interesting, but it just wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. See, but I'm, I appreciated the fact that you know that the main character, Sadie, has PTSD from, right. from her original kind of Which like, I like that. But, like, she... PTSD was not the focus of this novel. You know no. that she was dealing with some serious issues with that, but it wasn't It wasn't in the novel. And I like the fact that it was there. You knew she was experiencing it, but it's not the focus of the novel, so we're not going to like spend time on that because we're going to spend time on other things. So it was there, but it wasn't. And I think that that, I thought that was really well done, I think, that she didn't ignore it. I think I appreciate the fact that she didn't ignore the fact that, yeah, this would cause some lasting impacts. <clears throat> right, like, but that to me, that felt like another way it was disjointed. Like, is that what the book's about? Is the book about making friends? Is the book about growing up? Is the book about helping people? Is the book about having a love interest? I just, it just didn't completely gel. It's like, it's like when you make like a cake or something and it just doesn't set up right. Like, to me, it just didn't quite set up right. Everything's good. All the aspects put together are good. But it just didn't get to perf- get to like great together see but i was okay with that like to me this is what windfall should have been see, with like this windfall this way better. great amount of money that allows people to kind of impact the world i think this did it better than that see and i don't think that was the point of windfall and i just because to be quite honest i read this book like 
two weeks ago, and I'm having a hard time remembering it. And Windfall, I read a month and a half ago, and I remember it. Yeah, and I'm the opposite. Yeah. I really like Dumb Like Haze. I want to hang out with these people. Except for some, like, little bits and pieces here and there. I want to hang out with these people. And I think that they kind of... And I don't know if it felt forced or not, but, like, when you've got a group of teens that kind of span the spectrum of, like, diversity, too, I that's think. That's true. No, that didn't feel forced. That felt... Belie- I thought that, that felt believable. Like I said, I liked it. I just didn't, like, really like it. Like, I was just like, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I just never got beyond, yeah, it's pretty good. Should we just rate it? Yep, let's just rate it. Okay, so our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. If it was spectacular, it doesn't get a horn, so it is a horse. I'm going to give it a four unicorns. See, and this is another, if we were doing halves, it'd be a three and a half, but it's just a three. I mean, that's a good, that's, that's liking. I like yeah. it. I oh. just I just didn't really like it. I would recommend it, so. And I, if the right reader, I would recommend it, but it wouldn't be on the top of my recommendation list. All right, well, we're going to go, so adios. Bye.